Okay, so I am going to do a very quick and spontaneous tarot read for whoever needs to hear the messages in love. So we shall see what comes out. So whoever needs to hear it in love, please. Whoever needs to hear the messages in love, please. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so um, we have got somebody who is wanting to ask for a second chance here. Um, th this is someone who is facing their fears. They are they're f they're facing their ego here also in order to ask for a second chance. Now, for some of you, this could be someone who is... Um, there's an age difference here. Um, this could be someone who is uh, self-employed or someone who owns their own business. The Emperor energy, you could also be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces at this point. Um, but the Emperor energy is someone who takes charge of the situation. It's someone who has got quite a high standing in society. So it's like a manager or a boss or it's something like that. Um, it's, it's an individual who asking you for a second chance and facing their fears when it pertains to a love connection is actually a huge, huge deal for this particular individual. So they, they've also had some kind of an awakening here when it pertains to their connection with you. And it's, so it's almost like they're admitting, <laughs> they're, they're admitting now their, their true feelings for you with the two of cups being out here. So they're, they're wanting to take the connection up to the next level. They're wanting things to be in union. They're wanting things to be equal, balanced and fair. They want, they... Now they are really, really facing their pride and ego here and in admitting their feelings and their emotions for you. Um, because up until now they've been fighting these feelings and it's, it's led them to an energy where they feel that they have lost you, they've lost this connection or they're about to lose this connection for good and obviously they don't want they don't want that to be an option. Um, they are currently reevaluating their uh, current situation when it pertains to taking action towards you. So they're coming up here with a plan on how to take action towards you, on how they are going to, in fact, have this conversation with you because this is an individual with them showing up as the emperor energy it's not somebody who's necessarily comfortable with emotions and um, but there's something about this particular connection with you where they are being led to face the truth of the matter and they can no longer sit around and do nothing basically they're also admitting to themselves here that uh, this connection, um, you, are their wish fulfillment here. They've also got a lot of um, sexual energies towards you and they, it, it's like there's an element here of daydreaming about being in a um, romantic <coughs> situation with you both whenever they think those cheeky um, sexual thoughts it does make them smile. We've now got the Queen of Coins energy here. So they're seeing you as very grounded, very stable, very independent. Um, you could be um, a, an individual of business. So the Queen of Coins is a woman of means and they know what they want. They know how to get it. Uh, some of you are... Um, uh, now let me think. The Queen of Coins is someone who's very tactile with their hands. So you could be an individual who uh, does things with their hands. So they they earn their coin um, with their hands. Basically, it's someone who's very 
Uh, they, they've got a really good head on their shoulders. They're very, very grounded. They're kind, caring and giving, yes, but they're also not a doormat. So um, the, the Queen of Coins has also got a lot of responsibilities. It's an individual who does everything, basically. And this is, this is how they're seeing you. They see that you're more than capable of taking on the challenge. Um, they, they see that you, you've got a very good work-life balance and um it's it's also uh, it's an energy of commitment so this individual um they they daydream about being in a committed situation with you however they can't quite get over this um th there is definitely a little bit of animosity here with you uh, because the judgment card is showing so they can't quite get over this hurdle um of whatever this was that's happened between you both um high priestess that, that yeah this is an individual who's currently not verbalized their emotions towards you so that they are holding you in quite high regard here as well but they're not speaking and therein lies the problem Ten of coins. Yeah, they see you as long term. And for some of you, not all of you, they could actually see that you're already in another commitment somewhere else. And um, again, there, there's some kind of awakening here that they, they quite possibly have left it too late to have this conversation with you. Ten of Cups, so completion, completion and commitment. So yeah, th this individual is wanting to have it all with you. They want house with you, they want home with you, they want family with you, they want business with you and they see that you're more than capable of, um, of being an equal partner as well because remember they've shown up as the Emperor, the Fool, brand new beginning. They, they're literally yeah they are currently not speaking they they are reevaluating on how to bring this brand new beginning towards you now the thing with the fool energy for me it indicates some kind of um freedom of spirit so while they see you as uh, marriage material, settling down material, they also see you as really quite fun as well. There, there's something that's there's something about your soul that just really really speaks to them, and they they see that you can balance the elements of responsibility and freedoms really really well. Um, <sighs> two of coins under there that's literally just uh, reinforcing what I've just said six of wands so they're looking here for a way out of the current turbulent energies that they're experiencing they are looking ahead to better times and they are going to try and make this happen with you as well and um, they they want to communicate because the magician yes it is all about manifesting and um, I'm feeling quite strongly that this individual that you're dealing with they are indeed going to take charge of the situation and um, be aware of any kind of manipulation though because now we've got the emperor with the magician so this individual they can sometimes sometimes not always but sometimes fall foul to being a little bit too pushy uh, to little, being a little bit too uh, too domineering and um, so just, just be careful of that um, the magician is also about communication and being flexible so this individual is wanting you to um, Keep your energies open to the possibility of something starting between you both. Page of Cups. They also feel that they owe you some kind of apology here. And the Page of Cups is also pertaining to happy news when it pertains to a love situation. So the individual that you're dealing with is wanting to bring you um, their, their, their love, their cup of love and quite possibly an apology for some of you. Right, so we've now got the eight of coins 
so they're seeing that you're, you're very hard at work, you're very focused and um, you're trying to rebuild your finances also for some of you. Now for some of you with the Queen of Coins being here out with the Eight of Coins, for some of you um, you're, you're either rebuilding a business or you're uh, working on a brand new business that is going to set you up for life financially and it's also going to help you to support your family but there is something here definitely that pertains to you working very very hard on your your, your finances and your your stability and um, they, they see that you're making things happen here so they're seeing that you're very very good at manifesting um, you've caused them here to go a little bit into hermit mode, so they, they're trying to um, they're trying to I've lost the word. Where's it gone? Is there somewhere? Hold on, give me a minute. Um, there, there's something that you have done. Or there is something that you have said that has caused this particular individual to introspect on their behaviour. So I'm feeling that for the most part that are watching this, uh, you are not threat in the correct manner. And in fact, this individual quite possibly doubted your abilities as well. And now they feel like a little bit of an idiot for... Um, doubting you and the, in fact misjudged he's just said misjudged so some of you were massively misjudged and unfairly misjudged by this particular individual also so now we've got the eight of swords and this pertains to uh, low self-esteem negative self-talk and talking yourself out of something so this individual they are currently in mental conflict um, should I shouldn't I approach this person and tell them exactly how I'm feeling towards them and um, it, it's almost like that they're about to reach out and communicate with you but then they tell themselves oh no um, I, I can't do that because what if they're too busy what if they're too busy to speak to me what if they don't want to know and um, what if I'm interrupting them doing something or uh, what if they don't want to hear from me so the, there is a lot of mental conflict here that's coming from this in individual and now we've got the tower at the bottom of that deck so yeah um, they are worried about a tower moment that either hasn't happened yet or happened a long time ago they're definitely replaying something here over and over in their mind and it's not helping them out with the situation um, it's the, the more that they overthink the more it knocks on their confidence Right, so we've got the world card. So there's some kind of distance here between you both. Um, I'm feeling for the most part that uh, there, there is physical and mental distance here. There is also a huge difference between you both. Now we've already uh, clocked an age difference so that there's something else here that is holding this individual back from approaching you with the truth of of how they genuinely feel towards you in their heart and in their soul they uh, mm, they're, there's something that they're, they're a very stubborn individual um, they're very fixed in their ways. They're a very traditional individual and I'm feeling that you are not so much so. Your energy is a lot more flexible than this individual and th there's something here that is holding them back. Um, they also feel that you're, you're moving away from them energetically as well. Uh, they 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 want uh, a solid foundation, a solid structure. They want to move forward with you. Um, they, they understand that it's going to take a lot of hard work, but they're also willing to put it in if 
if they can get over whatever this difference is i'm telling you there is a stark difference here between you both this individual has not yet communicated with you because they're using the fact that you could be busy as an excuse and they're also using the fact that there is something different between you both as an excuse to uh, talk themselves out of communicating with you and to talk themselves out of carrying this situation to the next level they're also feared of rejection here so yeah th this is an individual where they've got um, a lot of pride and i'm feeling also that they quite possibly have got a lot they 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 could have a lot to lose should this situation go badly. Now we've got the King of Coins out and uh, he has come out in reverse. So the King of Coins upright is someone who is grounded, stable, secure, independent, they're financially independent. Um, again it's it's someone who is a business owner. In fact the King of Coins is someone who they own they own uh it's it's like a that they own houses or they own land or they they own something there's some kind of um earthly it, it's a very earth energy uh, so you could well be dealing with someone who's got maybe a portfolio of businesses or something um they, they're coming out here off balance so uh, th there's something here that they're dealing with that pertains to their finances basically they're pissing money out left right and center uh, things have gone wrong things have gone badly they're, they're losing money they're not feeling balanced they're not feeling stable anymore and so that is further playing on their um their insecurities here so we've got the queen of coins upright and the king of coins in reverse so they're seeing you doing well and they while they in turn are doing quite badly which is a really unusual situation for this particular individual to be sitting at because they are normally used to coming out on top they're not used to um the, this current energy here that they are working through and now we've got the seven of coins and temperance so they're, they're trying to um they're, they're ah right okay so they're actually trying to take a leaf here out of your book and they're trying to look at the things that they can grow and expand on and they are currently reinvesting their resources because again they're, they're seeing you here as some kind of um uh, financial uh, as someone to follow financially so they really are taking a leaf out of your book here they're looking at the things that you're doing and that they're, they're seeing your uh, my words are going where have they gone um, they're seeing your resilience here and they're, they're trying to emulate a little bit on what is it that you're doing that they can emulate in order to grow their finances. Um, and with the temperance card, they, they feel very divinely guided here towards you. So um, they, they feel... Again, the temperance card is pertaining to a difference because it's a careful balance. It's two opposing forces that are being carefully blended into one cup of love. So they're, they're feeling something very, very divine about this connection. They are they're feeling something divine about your energy also. And we've got the death card under there. So one door closes, another one opens. So again, they're taking taking a leaf here out of your book and they're seeing how you are conducting yourself under pressure and they again it, it's is there's a lot of emulating here and a lot of learning so they're learning through you um, the, the, this is a very very strong soulmate connection here um, it's it's very karmic and karmic is not a dirty word um, karmic <clears throat> simply means lessons 
uh, these could be good lessons or these could be bad lessons but this particular individual um, they, they like how you can move through situations that would otherwise destroy other people so they they are really they're, they're liking your energy and they're liking they're liking the lessons that they're learning through you and then we just saw yeah the devil card so now they're feeling here um, that very deep soul connection and they're, they're seeing um, so, so there's a soul connection here um, that particular devil is not a bad devil card it just literally means a very strong soulmate bond between you um, there, there is some sort of level of obsession here and there, there's a battle um, they're gonna pursue this connection with you because they feel it on a very deep and spiritual level and they know that at the end of it their chances for joy success and celebration at the end of it are quite high so returns earthly uh, spirituality community ocean conservation uh, it says stepping away from rush hour living meaningful connections a time of sharing responsibilities and pleasures meaningful gatherings and great health so yeah th this individual is feeling something very very spiritual about you and th there's something that there is more to this connection than meets the eye and um, you could have met this particular individual in some sort of community setting and um, they are trying to step away from that energy of living too quickly so that rush hour living and um, so again it's it's there, there's a lot of emulating here uh, adrift letting go allowing a higher force to take charge for a time wherever the tide takes you uh peaceful peaceful passivity not making any decisions other than just be so this individual is no longer fighting this connection they are now just sort of floating along seeing wherever the tide takes them so they would they're genuinely interested to see exactly where this particular connection can go and then we've got Imrama wonder voyage crossing deep waters pilgrimage journey of the soul time to stop talking or planning and it's time for doing traveling across uh, cr traveling across waters is indicated taking trips and going out for adventures so this individual has been um catapulted into spiritual growth through this connection with you and yeah they, they, they're trying to release toxic behaviors also and guide a guide mentor trustworthy ally a spirit guide wishes to make a healing contact with you you are more grounded enriched and truly yourself than ever before so some of you are uh, okay, so this individual sees you as a as a good example, basically, and um, they they are really the. I'm feeling actually that they are trying to communicate with you um, telepathically. So they they're definitely feeling your energies and. they would now like for this to be taken out of the out of the energetic realm and into the physical so that was your spontaneous reading for whoever needed to hear the message and um, yeah i just hope that, that was helpful for someone and i hope that you enjoyed it okay bye <laughs>